the ghostly guest house. Rebecca encountered a playful spook with a tragic past. Story submitted by Rebecca P. from Victoria, Australia. A couple of years ago, my choir was invited to perform at a music festival. A few of us booked rooms in a nearby guest house, a lovely old building that was slightly shabby. I was sharing a room with my friends Karen and Diane. In the middle of the night, I was woken up. Someone was tugging on my pyjama top, trying to pull it over my head. Terrified, I held onto it with all my strength. I sensed that this person was laughing and having fun with me, although I couldn't hear them or see them. They tugged and tugged as I held on for dear life. Then, when it finally stopped, my bed started thumping as if someone was jumping on it, just below my feet. Although scared, strangely, I, I didn't feel that I was in danger. After a few minutes, this too stopped and I found the courage to open my eyes. Nobody was there. Nobody at all. Shakily, I relayed my story to my roommates. I felt someone jumping on my bed too, cried Diane, whose bed was right next to mine. You two are bonkers, Karen laughed. You must have both been dreaming. Convinced she was right, we all drifted back to sleep. The next day, however, Karen was annoyed with us. Why were you two playing music so early this morning? She said irritably. We weren't, I said mystified. Well, I heard it, she insisted. It was loud and in our room. But neither Diane nor I have a music player or radio with us, I pointed out. It remained a mystery until a few hours later, when we spoke to a local shopkeeper. She told us that a woman who had owned the guest house about a hundred years ago had hung herself in the front room and she'd done it in front of her young daughter, who had later died while still a child. A wave of icy cold air suddenly blew over us. Instantly we realised we'd been visited by the little girl that night. She'd clearly been playing games with us. Today, I often wonder if that little girl is still haunting the guest house. If she is, I hope she's having fun, but not freaking out the other guests too much. Like the 5 minute story you just listened to? Check out our channel for more 5 minute movies and click the subscribe button below to be notified once we publish another story. If you'd like to submit a 5 minute story to us, please send us a message through YouTube. If you'd like to stay anonymous, we can change your name for the story, but remember, your story does have to be true. Take care and keep listening.